Save yourselves! Get out while you can! We're in the middle of something really serious. My name is Lee Camp. People are saying through the, 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 the crap of mainstream media, the corporate, you have these five corporations own 90% of everything that America is hearing. <laughs> and people are seeing through it. They're getting the media elsewhere, right? They're getting it from half the people you saw up here today. If you want to picture our economic system, just picture Chris Christie riding on the shoulders of Natalie Portman. All right? <laughs> It doesn't last long. I'm certainly not the mainstream media. I'm certainly not allowed on corporate television for the most part. And so I I think that the media is it's a catastrophe. I mean, it's all our mainstream media. It's it's uh, you know, I mean, you there's just you one little example. Trump got 23 times as much coverage than Bernie Sanders in the primaries. 23 times as much. So our media created this Trump monster. Um, and now they're trying to force Hillary down our throats to make sure she beats him. And it's, 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 not, it's not a genuine coverage of what's happening in the world. I mean, imagine how well Bernie Sanders would have done with a relatively equivalent amount of media. We would not allow money to determine our elections. We would not see the disavowalment of opportunity. What we will have, ladies and gentlemen, is our damn democracy. Uh, my name is Nico House. Look at him, try to be majestic. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I have a, a Facebook page where I give do Facebook Live videos. I give political analysis. Um, on any, almost any situation, whether it be foreign policy situations, domestic policy situations, um, the election, of course. Breaking down something that seems to be so simple but is complex or something that's very complex and try to simplify it. I'm starting a, a YouTube series just kind of like of my life and like the opinions of New Yorkers on the political uh, environment as well as the social environment, asking them their opinions and how they think we can change it, like solutions, because I feel like America has grown out of the um, solution stage. Um, it's called What the Fuck Happened, No Time to Build a Goat Shed, because that's what I wanted to do this summer and instead this shit show came in our way. So. Here it is. My name is Claudia Stauber, and right now we're at the press conference room in Washington, D.C. As the elections were coming in, the primaries, and I saw how they weren't reporting and it was rigged, I needed, I needed to just voice my opinion. <laughs> and, uh, and, and people started following me. We really also have a tangible energy around us that is so much more positive. And Bernie did help us to bring that out. Look, man, inspiration is important. You know, uh, people like to see it being done. And examples, so they see the example. You can do this, you can be relatively uh, I don't have a background in this. You know, I've done some speaking over the years, but I don't have a background. I didn't, I didn't come from the industry. It's not like I worked for MBC, MSNBC and I started doing my own thing. No, this is where I started. And I don't even want to go to MSNBC. I want to stay independent. I want to stay grassroots. I want to stay being able to do whatever I want to do. Bring Don on, for instance. Bring Matt on, for instance. And be able to talk about whatever we want. I don't want anybody telling me what I can talk about, what I can't talk about. And that's inspirational to people because they have issues, whether small or big, that they want to discuss.